Oradi, thanks so much for your question. Now, there are particular formulas that we use when we're answering questions like these, and we just have to make sure that we're using them right when looking at these types of questions. So let's look at question 1.1. 1. 1.1 1. 1 says we should find the common difference of the sequence. Now, we're looking at the sequence. It's negative 7, negative 4, negative 1, and 2, which means we're getting bigger as we go along. So in order for us to find the common difference, we have to look at T3 minus T2. And whatever we get there for term 3 minus term 2 must be the same thing as term 2 minus term 1. So let's look at what that looks like. Term 3 will be negative 7, negative 4, that will be negative 1. So negative 1 minus, and I'm going to open brackets here and put term 2, which is negative 4, must be exactly equal to negative 4, which is term 2 minus term 1, which is negative 7. Okay, so if we calculate that, we're going to get negative 1 minus negative, that's going to give us positive 4, so plus 4, which is equal to negative 4 minus negative 7, that's going to give us plus 7. So what we're going to get here is negative 1 plus 4 will give us 3, and on this side we'll also get 3. Three here as well. So the common difference we're looking for here, which is actually denoted D, is equal to three. So for 1.2, your teacher is absolutely right. You're going to have to use the formula for the sequence. Now they want us to find the general term. And the general term normally says Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D. And this is all going to be equal to, we know that A is our very first term, which in this sequence is negative 7. So we'll have to write negative 7 plus N minus 1 multiplied by the common difference, which we just calculated, is 3. And that's all you need to do. That's the only thing that this is going to be equal to at the moment. So that's the answer we're looking for for 1.2. Now, in 1.3, we're going to have to use what we got in 1.2 to answer that question. It says, find the term in position 30, which means they're looking for T30. So T30, and in this case, wherever we see an N, we're going to replace it with 30. So what we're going to get here is negative 7 plus, we're going to open our brackets, there's an N, so we're going to replace it with 30 minus 1 multiplied by 3. And then we're just going to simplify what we have here. This is going to equal to negative 7 plus 30 minus 1 is going to give us 29 multiplied by 3. This is going to equal to negative 7 plus 29 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 87. And negative 7 plus 87 is going to equal to 80. So the term sitting in the 30th position is going to equal to 80, and that's the answer we're looking for. I hope this explains how um, the formula works and how to answer these questions. Try the rest of them, send us your answers, and we'll be happy to help further. All the best.